Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, welcome once again. We're going to begin now. Um, she's going to go full screen. And then we will begin. Okay. All right. As usual, um, the first thing we're going to do is call the attendance list. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Let's begin. We have uh, Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aila. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aila. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martínez. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martínez. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Teacher, I'm oh. here, but the, the internet is back. Okay, thank you, Gladys. Uh, Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Are you here? We have a chat entry. Yeah, Gladys says I'm here. Okay, yeah, taken. Thank you. Uh, Jose Luis Hernandez Flores, ya lo vi. Present. Okay, thank you. Josue Isaías Najarro Martinez. Josué Isaías Najarro Martínez. Lilian Estela Portillo García. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enríquez Herrera. Enríquez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Ya la vimos por ahí. Ok, thank you. Paola María Alvarado Cerón. Paola María Alvarado Cerón. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm just going to call the names of those who didn't respond before. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martínez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Josué Isaías Najarro Martínez. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Everybody, thank you. Um, always remember one of the requisites for this class is to have the camera on. Okay, so if, if you have the opportunity, please um, turn your camera on. It's good to see everybody face to face. Okay, let's begin. Welcome once again. This is uh, Inglés Preavanzado Modulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service, and this is session number six, and today is January 25th of 2023 or 2023, whichever you prefer. So what are we going to do today? Today we start section number three that you will find in the platform. And what's that? Well, we begin with this, lifelong learning. We're going to study some vocabulary. That's the first thing, vocabulary for everybody. Snapshot, take a look. Popular college majors. What is a major? A major is what you study at university or what you study at college. You have to be careful because sometimes people confuse the words major with the word career, the word major, I'm sorry, with the word career. The word major and the word career have different meanings, okay? And uh, the confusion usually comes from uh, our language, Spanish, because you say, En la universidad llevo tal carrera. Okay, so people associate carrera with career, but it's not exactly the same. They are different things. What you study at university or at college is a major, what you can see here. That's a major. Now, your job, what you do and you get paid for, that's your career. Okay, for example, I'm a teacher. That's my career. And also I studied English teaching at the university. That was my major. Okay, so two different concepts. We have a chat entry here. Uh, Gladys is having some trouble with the internet. Okay, uh, thank you for letting me know, Gladys. Okay, well, um, what's next? Let's take a good look. Ah, Lilian Estela. Yes, uh, to understand when you yeah, you have the job mm -hmm. is the career mm -hmm. because you are uh, acting with your profession. Mm -hmm. But when you are studying, mm -hmm. it's called major. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how okay, it is. But, but in Spanish, it's the same. In Spanish, we say la carrera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. But mm -hmm. yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so um, we have some popular college majors. So what about this? You have broadcasting. I'm going to zoom in. Broadcasting, learn about television or radio media. That's broadcasting. There's criminology, study crime solving or prevention. Economics, learn budgeting or international trade. Environmental science, study conservation or pollution. Exercise science, study fitness or sports management. If you want to be a, a physical education teacher or if you want to work at the gym professionally, okay, at a higher level, you study exercise science. There is fashion. Learn design or merchandising. Film studies. Study film history or film production. Hospitality. That is, study hotel or restaurant management. Interior design. Decorate homes or buildings. And nutritional science. Study children's nutri nutrition, I'm sorry, or weight loss. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the list of uh, college majors? Lillian. It, it confused for me. Well, hospi hospitality. Hospitality. It, uh, it refers to something that 
bring some good service to the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hotel service. If you want uh -huh. to have a small hotel or an Airbnb or I don't know, a, bre a bed and breakfast, okay, then this is what you should probably study. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's it, that's hospitality. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Josué Isaías. Uh, teacher, uh, what's the difference between history and history? History and story. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, let me explain. There is history, there's story. Okay, history is, let's say, the list of um, events. Uh, how can I explain this? this? Is the list of events in a particular time period? Okay, or a list of events in a particular time period related to um, a person or an institution. For example, we can talk about the history of El Salvador. So what is the history of El Salvador? It's a very old story. Um, well, the let's say what we know started more than 500 years ago when uh, we had some indigenous populations in El Salvador, right? That's part of the history. And then, you know, people from Spain came and they conquered and then they established colonies, et cetera, et cetera. And then the society continued changing and evolving until the point we are right now. That is history. So you can talk about your history also. You say, ah, you know, I was born you know, in 1985 in San Salvador. And after that, I went to this school and blah, 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 until this point. That's history. Now, what's the story? A story is a tale or an anecdote. That's a story, like the movie, Toy Story. Every time you watch a movie, that's a story. Unless it is a documentary about the past, no, that will be history, okay? But normally, you know, when it's, a, when it's fiction, okay, you're watching a drama on TV or you're watching science fiction or a horror movie, et cetera, et cetera. Those are stories. That's basically the difference between history and a story. Okay. All right. So let's uh, have a poll. Okay. I would like to know what major you would like to study if you had to choose uh, one of these. There are 10 options. Again, broadcasting. Well, they are here. Broadcasting, criminology, economics, environmental science, uh, exercise science, fashion, film studies, hospitality, interior design, and nutritional, nutritional I'm sorry, science. So I'm going to ask you one by one, okay? And I want you to tell me only which of these majors you would prefer to study, okay? So we start with Josue Isaias, because you're the first person in the list right now. Um, or no, let me do it like this, because the, the order changes. I'm going to go with the list. Alejandra Magaña, okay, which one would you like to study? Is Alejandra Magaña here? Fashion. Fashion, okay. Yes. We have fashion, okay, one vote for fashion. Cool, thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar, which one would you choose? Astrid Michelle? Hmm. She went for a snack, probably. I don't know. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. People, where are you? Did you fall asleep? Present teacher. Hi. Okay, Carlos. Which uh, major will you choose? Carlos? <laughs> Uh, 
I can't hear Carlos. Can you hear Carlos? I can't. No, you can't. Okay. All right then. Um, Teacher, yes. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, should I uh, choose? Um, you choose one. On that subject. Mm -hmm. One one major. Mm. Hospital hospitality. Hospitality. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll continue with Ever de Jesus Candray. About Ever, what would you choose? Exercise science. Environmental science. Exercise science. Ah, exercise science. Okay. All right. Exercise science. Thank you. We'll continue with Gabriela Stephanie Cortez. Yes, teacher. Which one would you choose? Um, I would like I would like to study um, nutritional science. Nutritional science. Hey, what's wrong with my screen? There's something weird with my screen. Do you see a red line on the screen? Yes. That's weird. <laughs> What happened right there? I have no idea. Okay, you told me nutritional science, right? Okay, that's that's strange. What is that line doing there? <laughs> I have no clue. What's going on? Give me a second. There's that's that's strange. Whoa, seems to be on my screen, all over my screen for some reason, but not over the cursor. Well, okay, I guess I'll have to investigate what's going on because I have no idea what that line is doing right there. Okay, uh, we'll continue with this. Gladys Imelda, okay, what would you choose? Film is a study. Film studies, okay, there's film studies, thank you. Um, next is someone's, uh, Rosa Esmeralda. Film study. I'm sorry, film studies. Film studies. Okay, film studies, thank you. Uh, we'll continue with Jasmine Vanessa Sosa. Interior design. Interior design, okay. Over here, very good, thank you. Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Nutritional science. Nutritional science, okay to people for nutritional science. Great. Uh, Josue Isaias Najarro. And criminology. Criminology, okay. Thank you. Let's see, Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. Nutritional science. Nutritional science, okay. This one's popular. Thank you. Uh, Luis Fernando Enriquez. Broadcasting. Broadcasting. Okay, good. Broadcasting. Yes, okay. yes. All right. Let's see who's next. Manuel Aristide Murcia. I like uh, interior design. Interior design. Okay, good. Paola Maria Alvarado. Me too, interior design. Interior design. Okay, thank you. Um, Rosa Esmeralda, she told me already. Uh, Sandra Cecilia Munguia. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. I think the, the, your audio is a little bit slow. Interior design. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Walter René. Uh, economics. Economics. Okay. Thank you. And finally, Jenny Sanchez, what would you like to study? Criminology. Criminology, okay. Thank you. All right, I think I asked everybody. So um, let's see, apparently the most popular choice is interior design. Okay, that is nice. And the least popular choice is environmental science. Nobody wants to study environmental science for some reason. Okay, so. <laughs> And the second most popular choice will be nutritional science, okay? 
you, you, you like nutrition. That's cool. In my case, if I had to choose, I will probably go for film studies. That would be me. Okay. I kind of like movies. Teacher, what yes. uh, case um, for the environmental science? Environmental science. Okay. Uh -huh. We have it here. Hey, this red line, I'm a little bit worried about it. Hmm. Well, anyway, I have to buy another computer apparently. Okay, environmental science is the study, uh, sorry, study conservation or pollution. It's the environment, el medio ambiente. Gladys Imelda. Teacher, I, I don't know if you are using an app to share the, the screen. No, just, just Zoom. Uh -huh. Oh, but this appears I, I suddenly. guess maybe some erasers for the, that line. I have no yes. idea, but, but apparently if you see the cursor, it's under it and not over it. So um, I don't know oh. what's going on. I mean, the line seems to be on top of the slide, but it also seems to be directly below the cursor. So... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I apologize. A... No, it's it's okay, but I hope it uh, que no sea nada grave. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm worried now. Thanks for the good wishes. Okay, so perspectives. Let's take a look at this. It's the campus survey. We are expanding the school curriculum next year. What kinds of classes should we add? Now, they want to add new courses, new classes. Please take a moment to answer a few questions. Me disculpo porque al parecer esa línea está ahí para quedarse y creo que nos va a ser un poco de estorbo para leer las cosas. Bueno, no tengo idea qué pasó. Ojalá después de una reiniciada se le quite esto, pero no puedo hacerlo ahorita. Okay, so um, let's take a look. I want a volunteer to help me read question number one and options A, B, and C. Please, who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Jenny Sanchez and then Lilian Estela. Would you rather take a media class or health class? Would you rather take a media class or a health class? Okay. Option A, Jenny. I'd rather take a media class. Mm -hmm. Your location. Um, <laughs> to A. Uh -huh. I'd rather take uh, a health class. Mm -hmm. uh, I I rather take another type of course than study media or health. Mm -hmm. I'd rather take another type of course than study media or health. Okay, so depending on the answer, right? You go to uh, question two A, two B, or three. So you have this. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? So you can answer, I would rather take a media class. That means I would prefer to take a media class. If that's the case, then you go to question 2A. Question 2A is, um, Lillian, can you help me read the question and the three possible answers? Yes. If you choose media class, would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? Mm -hmm. A, I prefer to study film studies. B. I prefer to study broadcasting. And C, I prefer not to study either. I prefer another media course. Thank you. I prefer not to study either. You don't like film studies or broadcasting. So you prefer something else, okay? I prefer another media course. Thank you. Okay, going back uh, to question one, would you rather take a media class or health class? B, I'd rather take a health class. If that's the case, then you have to go to question 2B. I need a volunteer to help me read question 2B and the three possible answers. Who wants to try? Mm -hmm. Carlos Alfredo. Uh, number, number three. Uh, 2B. Right here. Ah, to be. Mm -hmm. If you choose health class, would you rather learn exercise science 
or nutritional science. Mm -hmm. uh, letter, letter A, I'd rather learn exercise science. Letter B, I'd rather learn nutritional science. Letter C, I'd rather not learn either. I'd prefer another health course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then going back to question number one, would you rather take a media class or health class? Letter C, I'd rather take another type of course than study media or health. If that's the case, you go to question three. And question three is, what other types of courses would you add to the curriculum? There you go. That's the campus survey. Now, pronunciation. 3.0, this is the lesson objective. Okay, in this class, participants will learn how to make the proper rising and falling intonation in questions of choice. Nothing too complicated, and you can practice this in your house if you want. Let's take a look at this. Pronunciation, intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. So you have a question of choice basically gives you uh, or lets you choose between two options. Okay. A or B, one or two, black or white, okay? So take a look. You say, would you rather take broadcasting? It goes up. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? It goes down. We're talking about the intonation. You don't say, would you rather take broadcasting or economics? No, you have your voice has to go out, up, I'm sorry, and then it has to come down. So would you rather take broadcasting or economics? That's the idea. It goes up and then down, up, down. Okay. So the second one right here is, would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? You see the guitar or the violin. First, it goes up, then it goes down. Number three, would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Fashion or hospitality? And the last one, do you prefer to study in the day or at night? I need a volunteer to read the first one, please. Remember to do the right intonation. First, it has to go up and then it has to come down. So, Olivia Osorio and her son. <laughs> Would you write their days broadcasting or economics? Okay, would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Okay, thank you, Olivia. Uh, the second one, I need a volunteer to read it, please. Just raise your hand. Nobody wants to try today. Josue Isaias, then Paola Maria, and then Jose Luis. Okay. Gladys, you go for the next exercise. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, Josue. Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Okay. Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Okay. Actually, well, some people say violin, some other people say violin. Okay. Basically, both pronunciations exist. But for the first word, you say guitar. Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Okay. Thank you, Josue. Paola Maria. The third one, please. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Okay, good. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Okay, thank you very much. And finally, we have Jose Luis Hernandez Flores, please. Do you prefer study in the day or at night? Okay, good. Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? That's right. So, uh, questions of choice. First, Intonation goes up, then it comes down. Good practice. And now, take a look. Uh, lesson objective 3.2, okay? By the end of this class, you will learn how to express choices using would rather and would prefer. Take a good look. Grammar focus. Pay close attention to this because it's it's not a lot of information, but it's a little bit easy to um, make mistakes here. Would rather and would prefer. So would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. And you have some examples. 
sorry. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? Would you rather take? I would rather or I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. You know, a choir, a group of people singing at the same time. You say, I'd rather not join a choir. Or you just say, I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. Now, what is all this? It's a bit confusing right now, but I'm going to explain it in more detail. Okay, Sandra Cecilia nos avisa acá. Se moverá un ratito. Okay, thank you, Sandra. So uh, this may be a little bit confusing. So there is some extra information that I have for you right now, and I hope that makes it, uh, you know, clearer. Let's take a look. Ah, this line. What's wrong with it? Is it my computer screen? Is it? No, it can't be the computer screen. Okay. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm sorry. So um, you have this. Would prefer. Is I'd prefer. This is the contracted form. I'd prefer. Now, this is the easy part. We use would prefer to say what uh somebody wants in a specific situation not in general okay for example would you prefer tea or coffee the person says coffee please okay you have options right there it's not the same to say do you prefer tea to coffee in that case you're stating a general preference for example some people say no coffee every day some other people say, no, I prefer tea. Okay, that's good. But when you say would prefer, you're talking about what a person wants in a specific situation. Maybe you drink coffee every day, every morning and every evening. But today in particular, you want tea. You want something different. So if that's the case, you would prefer tea because this is a very specific situation. It's not general, it's specific. So we say, would you prefer to do something? This line, okay, I apologize about this line. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. This is going to be on video. That's the worst part of all. Anyway, we say, would you prefer to do something? Okay, what is the rule here? Rule number one, take a look. When you are using the verb prefer, you have to use to in the verb. That's the rule. The word prefer needs the next verb to use the infinitive form, the to infinitive form. That is to and then the verb. Would you prefer to do something? Shall we go by train? No vamos en tren? Okay. You say, I'd prefer to drive. Preferiría manejar, right? I would prefer to drive. But take a look. Prefer. After prefer, you have to use to and the verb. I would prefer to drive. Another example, I'd prefer to stay at home tonight rather than go to the cinema. You are stating your preferences. You prefer to stay at home. You would probably like to go to the cinema too, but you would prefer to stay home. Maybe you are tired. Okay, so that's the easy part. But now let's take a look at this because would prefer is easy. But now we have this, would rather. Now, what's would rather? Basically, it's the same idea. But the grammar is a little different. Let's take a look. I'd rather, it's the same as I would rather. Now, you have a family right here. And the parents are telling the child, would you like to sit here with us on the couch? There is space for another person. But then George is saying, no, thanks. I'd rather sit on the floor. That means I, I'd prefer to sit on the floor. 
Now look, George likes to sit on the floor. He doesn't want to sit on the couch. So he says, I'd rather sit on the floor, which means I would prefer to sit on the floor. I'd rather means I would rather. It's the short or contracted form of would rather, okay? But the idea is would rather and would prefer basically express the same thing. But there is a difference and you will see that. I would rather do something means I would prefer to do something. There is the affirmative form. I'd rather, I would rather. And after that, you have to use a verb in base form. Do, stay, have, be, etc. You have some examples. Can you help me read the first one, please? Who wants to? Well, I'm going to show you four examples. I need a volunteer to read the four of them. If we change volunteers all the time, we waste too much time. So I need a volunteer to read the first four examples, please. Who can help me? Ya lo dormí. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Josué Isaías. I don't really want to go out. I, I'd rather stay home. I'd rather stay home means I would prefer to stay home. It's the same thing. Same idea. Thank you. The second one, please. Josué. You will read four. Okay, uh, should we go now? No, not yet. I'd rather wait until later. I'd rather wait until later. Later, I'm sorry. That means I would prefer to wait until later. Thank you. Number three, please, Josue. I'd like to go now, but Tom would rather wait until later. Mm -hmm. I would like to go now, but Tom would rather wait until later. And he's driving, so I have to wait. So, thank you. And the last one, please, Josue. I don't like to be late. I'd rather be early. I don't like to be late. I'd rather be early. Okay, thank you, Josue. So, I'd rather be early means I would prefer to be early. What about the negative form? The negative is simple. You just need to add not and that's it okay if the affirmative is i would rather the negative is i would rather not i'd rather not or the full form i would rather not and after that the same formula you just have to use the verb in base form do stay have and be that's negative that means i would prefer not to do something okay I need a volunteer to read the next four examples, please. Volunteer, practice your pronunciation. Gabriela Stefani. I'm feeling tired. I don't rather not go out tonight. Okay, I'm feeling tired. I'd rather, okay, not go out tonight, which means I would prefer not to go out. Okay, pues preferiría no salir. Okay, Gabriela, the second one, please. Sue is feeling tired. She'd rather, rather. Rather. Rather mm -hmm. not go out tonight. Thank you. Sue is feeling tired. She'd rather not go out tonight, which means she would rather not, not go out tonight. Uh, the next one, Gabriela, please. We're not hungry. We'd rather not eat yet. We're not hungry. We'd rather not eat yet. Maybe later. Okay, but right now we're not hungry. And the last one, Gabriela, please. Well, you like to go out tonight? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Okay, thank you. Would you like to go out tonight? And the other person says, I'd rather not. No. Thank you, but no, okay, I'd rather not, mejor no. Okay, and what about the question form? Here's the question form. The question form you say, would you rather, it's like, would you prefer, 
okay? Would you rather, and then the verb in base form, do, stay, have, be, etc. So I need a volunteer to read the last two examples because there are only two for the questions. Who can help me? Please raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand. Olivia Osorio. The first one, please. Would you rather have milk or, or just? Or juice. Yeah, juice, please. Juice, please. Okay. Just the pronunciation. It's not rather, but rather. Would you rather have milk or juice? Ah, you see, this is a choice question. Would you rather have milk or juice? Okay, it goes up and then down. So would you rather have milk or juice? And the other person says juice, please. And the last one, Olivia, please. Which would you rather do who do the movie theater or was a movie at home? Thank you. Which would you rather do? Go to the movie theater? or watch a movie at home. There you go. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the structure? Any questions about the structure or the vocabulary in the slide? Lilian Estela. It's confused me something to share. Mm -hmm. What, what is? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, when you you said that one of the rules in using prefer, you need to use infinitive, right? The two and, infinitive. That yeah, means you yeah. need to use two. Two, mm -hmm. exactly. But in a specific situation, you don't need to use it. Oh, you have to use it. The thing with would rather and would prefer, both refer to specific situations. Okay. They are but the same it, idea. But in some cases, when you use would prefer, mm -hmm. you don't use the the two. You have to use it every time. Uh, or every time. Uh -huh. Okay. I was confused in that point. Yeah. The thing is, you say, for okay. example, I prefer to go on a picnic. Okay. Okay. All right. So imagine mm -hmm. somebody asks you, do you want to go to the movies or to the beach? Okay. Somebody mm -hmm. asks you this question. Hey, do you want to go to the movies or to the beach? And you say, mm, I prefer to go on a picnic. Okay. So you can also say, I'd rather go on a picnic. What's the difference between I prefer and I rather? The difference is this. Only that part of the structure. Okay, mm -hmm. so, okay, I understand now. You always have to, to use the infinitive form of the verb. The two infinitive. Yeah, yeah. you have to use the two and infinitive with after prefer. prefer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after rather, you use the base form of the verb only. That's okay, the rule. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, next part. Now look, and that's exactly what I was explaining. We say, I'd rather do something. We don't say to do something. Okay, I'm going to use here quotation marks. Okay. So we say, I'd rather do something and not to do something. Example. Sorry, I just had dinner. So I'd rather sit on the floor. This is the correct form. If you say, I'd rather to sit on the floor, that will be incorrect, okay? Because when you use rather, you don't use to. Another example, Sue would rather not go out. And you don't say, Sue would rather not to go out. That will be incorrect. Remember, you use to with prefer, which is exactly what you have here. But we say, I'd prefer to do something. In this case, it is correct. When you have the verb prefer, you need to use to. Examples, I'd prefer to sit 
on the floor. This is good. Sue would prefer not to go out. This is good. Again, when you have the verb prefer, you need to use to. The to infinitive form of the verb follows prefer. When you have rather, mm -mm, you use the base form of the verb only. And finally, take a look. You can say, I'd rather than. This is when you are comparing two choices. Examples. I'd rather go out than stay home. Preferiría salir que quedarme en la casa. I'd rather go out than stay home. You can use then when you are comparing the two choices. Another example. I'd rather have a dog than a cat. So if you have to choose between a dog and a cat, this person in particular will choose a dog. So I'd rather have a dog than a cat. Another example. We'd rather go to the movie theater than watch a movie at home. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I'd rather be at home right now than here. Well, I'm home right now, actually. This is only an example. So that's the thing, okay? After I'd rather, you can use then to uh, express a comparison between the two choices that you have, all right? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn. Exercise time. Your turn. Complete these questions. Use would you rather, and then you have uh, uh, the first one as an example. Do you want to go out or would you rather stay home? ¿Quieres salir o preferirías quedarte en la casa? Right? Do you want to go out or would you rather stay home? What about number two? Who can help me? Don't be shy. Let's give it a try. Lillian. Should we have dinner now or would you rather eat later? Okay, sounds good. Should we have dinner now or would you rather have dinner later or would you rather eat dinner later or simply as Lillian said, would you rather eat later? All those options are okay. Good. Thank you very much. What about number three? We can help me with number three. By the way, this exercise is extra. This is not in the platform. Okay. All this explanation is extra. So what's next? <laughs> Sandra Cecilia, and then Jenny Sanchez. Jenny Sanchez, you help me with number four, please. Sandra. Would you like a glass of juice or would you rather um, a glass of water? Would you rather, um, you need to use a verb after that. Would you like a glass of juice or would you rather Drink, mm -hmm. drink a glass, a glass of water. Or simply drink water, right? Yeah, very good. Would you like a glass of juice or would you rather have water or would you rather drink water? Thank you, Sandra. Nice. Number four, Jenny Sanchez. And then number five goes to, so Isaias wants to participate, but I want to give it a chance to Carlos Alfredo. Okay, but thank you very much. Okay, uh, Jenny Sanchez, number four, please. Do you want to go go to the movies, or you, or would you rather watch TV? Okay. Do you want to go to the movies, or would you rather watch TV? That's good. Thank you, Jenny. And finally, um, 
Carlos Alfredo, you wanted to participate, right? Number five. Shall we, shall we call your brother tonight or would you rather call your brother tomorrow morning? Okay, good. Just uh, in order not to repeat your brother, you can use uh, a pronoun like this. Uh, should we call your brother tonight or would you rather call him tomorrow morning? But yeah, correct. Very good. There you go. Exercise one, done. We still have a few more. <laughs> so 8.50. Yeah, we still have some minutes, so we can do this. Ah, this line. C can you still see the line, by the way? Teacher. Yes? Estaba viendo que cuando mueve el puntero, abajo salen unas herramientas. Y vi okay. un tipo pincel. No sé. Ah, really? Maybe I did something and I and I hmm. no. no idea. You mean this? There, there, there. Ah, maybe this is it. Maybe I, I did something. Let's see. Ah, okay. Maybe it's here. Mm. Laser. Ah, nice. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's part of the presentation. I didn't know. Pluma? Ah, look. Maybe that's it. Ooh. Maybe that's what I did. Let's see yeah, if yeah. it works in every slide. No, but look, it, it disappeared on the other slide. Mm, no, there's something mysterious about it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, but I really I really yeah. hope it disappears maybe when I restart the computer. In but the point, something like that. Let me see. I'm going to. Entero uh, laser. Uh, Borrador. Let's see. Oh my! I don't know what to do now. Luma. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, there it is. No, mm -hmm. but it's still there. No, it's it's something on Windows because it disappears from the presentation. So I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so I guess this is yeah. All right, your turn. Complete the sentences with a verb. Sometimes you need to use two, but you don't have the options, so you have to think of a suitable verb for this. Example: I'd rather stay home tonight. I would prefer not to go out. What about number two? Who can help me? Raise your hand, please. You have to come up with a suitable verb. Okay, Josue Isaias. Should we walk home or would you rather take a taxi? Would you rather take a taxi? That's right, good. Number three, thank you, Josue. Number three, who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Raise your virtual hand. Okay, Gladys. Do you want me to come with you or will you prefer to go alone? Do you want me to come with you or would you prefer to go alone? Okay, that is good. Thank you, Gladys. Very good. Number four, who wants to try? Raise your virtual digital hand, please. Vamos, hay algunos, hay algunos que solo les conozco la voz cuando me dicen present teacher. <laughs> Así que tratemos de participar, vamos, sin pena, sin pena. Number four. Walter René. Okay. Lauren, Lauren doesn't want to go to college. Mm -hmm. She'd rather... Uh... Go a job. Go a job. Mm, there are better alternatives. Because you don't go a job. It's a different verb. Maybe Sandra can help us. 
She'd rather have a job. She'd rather have a job. Okay, okay, it's possible. Good. I have uh, some other alternatives, but have a job makes sense. She'd rather get a job. She'd rather find a job. And what you mentioned, she'd rather have uh, have a job. Okay, so all those are good. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, and also thank you, Walter. Number five. I need a volunteer, please. Number five. Who wants to try? Who wants to participate? Luis Fernando. Uh, can I help you with your suitcase? No, thanks. I I rather uh, prefer to uh, dress up myself. I'd rather. Um, we I cannot have... use rather and prefer to. It's only one or the other. Okay, I rather dress it up myself. Hmm, dress it up myself. Well, the suitcase is la valija, right? So can I help you with your suitcase? So you say, no, thank you. I'd rather. I'd, I'd rather uh, take it myself. Take it myself. OK, that will be possible. I have two different verbs, but take it makes sense. I'd rather carry it myself. I'd rather do it myself, or I'd rather take it myself. OK, that would be nice. Thank you, Luis Fernando. Number six, who can help me? This is a bit more difficult because you have to, well, you have to give me two different answers. Alejandra Magaña. I'd rather not text him. I prefer to send him an email. I'd rather not text him, okay. Um, okay, yeah. I'd rather, well, I have some other options, but yeah, yours is good. I'd rather not see him. I'd rather not call him. I'd rather not talk to him. I'd rather not speak to him or I'd rather not text him is, is good. Okay, I don't have it here, but yeah, makes perfect sense. Actually, I'm going to include it. I like it. Text, okay. Or the next time I have to teach this class. <laughs> good. Okay, so um, let's see. I'd rather not text, see, call, talk to, or speak to him. I'd prefer uh, to send him an email, right? That's what you told me, or write him an email. That's what you have. Okay, good. Very nice. Thank you. Final exercise before we finish this class. Thank you, Alejandra. That was good. Um, your turn, finally. Answer these questions about yourself. You have to use I'd rather then example which would you prefer to be a bus driver or an airplane pilot so a possible answer possible answer because it depends on you i'd rather be a bus driver than an airplane pilot you know being on an airplane can be very scary for some people okay but maybe some other people say like no i'd rather be an airplane pilot because it's better to be on an airplane than to be on a bus depends on the person. So what about number two? I want a volunteer. Um, your opinions are okay. Okay, um, what I'm interested in is your grammar. Okay, so volunteer, which would you prefer to be? A journalist or a doctor? Carlos Alfredo. Uh, I, I'd rather be, no, I'd rather prefer to be Mm, careful. Doctor. You can only use one. You use rather or prefer, but not both at the same time. You can say, I'd rather be or I would prefer to be. In this case, I prefer, I prefer uh, to be a journalist. A journalist. Yeah. Okay. I would prefer to be a journalist. Okay. Then a doctor. Sounds good. Thank you, Carlos. What about number three? Where would you prefer to live? In a big city or a small town? Raise your hand, please. Jenny Sanchez. 
I would prefer uh, live in a small town. I would prefer live in a small town. But we're using the verb prefer, so we need to use. I'm sorry, I don't understand. You. Okay, let's take a look. Where would you prefer to live? Okay, so you say I would prefer. I would prefer to, to live. To live, uh huh. To live in a small town. I would prefer to live in a small town. Okay, yeah. Faltaba el tú, verdad? I would prefer to live in a small town. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Number four, which would you prefer to study? Electronics or philosophy? Jose Luis. I would rather study electronics than philosophy. Okay, I'd rather study electronics than philosophy. Okay, thank you. And number five, the last one, and with this we finish. Which would you prefer to watch? A soccer game or a movie? Volunteer, please. Carlos Alfredo. I'd rather watch a soccer game than a movie. I'd rather watch a soccer game than a movie. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, thank you. We're going to stop right there. But first, um, before we finish, I'm going to call attendance one more time. Um, when you hear your name, please let me know. Carlos Alfredo Ramos. Yeah, I saw you. <laughs> okay. Claudia Yanet Iraeta. Claudia Yanet Iraeta. Not here today. Let me check the list of participants. Carlos, no, 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 she's not. Okay. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Present. Thank you. And that's it. That's the end of the list. Okay, everybody, thanks for your attention. I'm going to upload this um, uh, video tonight. I'm sorry about the red line. I have no idea what's going on. I hope the red line is not there tomorrow. I hope. I really hope so. So, um, Thank you again for your patience, for your participation, and for the effort you're making, okay? And um, we will continue tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night.